Hey, it's Matt at Rough House Studios, and welcome to Canna Basics. Today, we're going to make CBD oil using a rosin press. Now, we're using the MyPress portable rosin press today. They're also a sponsor of Rough House Studios. If you use the code ROUGHHOUSE at MyRosinPress.com, you'll get an exclusive discount, and also you'll be helping to support Rough House Studios. Now here's what you'll need to do this. You'll need a rosin press, of course, and you'll need some high CBD hemp. We'll talk more about that in a second. You need some parchment paper, a pollen press, a cold pack that you'll want to freeze in advance. You need a scraper tool. We'll use that to scrape up the oil at the end and also a scale. Now, when it comes to the materials, what you'll want is to probably get hemp. Now, hemp is high CBD. In this case, it is 16.76%, which is really high in CBDs, and it has a 0.23% of THC, very low to THC. So this would be good for our purposes. And the first step is gonna to be to preheat the press. We're gonna use a pretty high temperature of 220 degrees Fahrenheit. That's higher than I would normally use for cannabis. For this experiment today, we're gonna to be pressing a two gram pressing and then a one gram pressing. So first you'll want to weigh out your hemp and then you'll put it into the pollen press and then you add in the weights. And then some pollen presses have a little T-bar. This is just a uh, simple screw together on both sides, but you screw together really tightly, as tightly as you can. And then when you press it out, you have a nice concise puck that'll press a lot more efficiently. <music> Now you want to take that puck and you want to place it in your parchment paper. Uh, I would recommend using two layers. I'm only using one in this demonstration, but that's not how I know you need probably to use two because it can bleed through because it's a real hot temperature. And yeah, then once you have your puck centered in the parchment, we're going to now place it in the press and you're also going to center it in the press. And now we're going to what I call a pre-press. And then over the next, say, 30 to maybe 45 seconds, we're going to be slowly lowering the lever, adding a little bit more pressure every few seconds and not to fully press it yet, but just this is to allow the heat to distribute through. So for about 30 seconds, we're going to pre-press and let that heat fill all the way through from top to bottom on that. After the 30 seconds or 45 seconds, you're going to finally close down the lever and give it a full press. And after about 30 seconds or so of that, you'll start to see the hemp oil protruding from around the edges. And it'll bubble and run. And you'll want to leave this on full press for one to two minutes. Because we're using a high temperature, you don't want to go too long because you don't want to burn off all your terpenes. But it is more tolerant than uh, cannabis is. And you can see we got a really good yield there. And so the next step is the cooling step. And normally I would have not opened it up and removed the puck to show the camera like I did a second ago. I would have taken it directly from the press and put it right into a folded over compressed bag like you see there and let it chill for about one minute. And what that will do is to slow down the heating process and to preserve our terpenes and our flavor profile. The next step is to scrape it off and collect it. I find doing that with the compress as a backing to the paper makes it a lot easier to remove the oil. And you see I garnered about 11% yield on that first pressing with the two grams. Then I pressed a one gram pressing of the same hemp. And I can see now I did I have a less of a yield, but with one gram, I have a better percentage of a yield. And in fact, on that one, I got just at 17% yield, a really great yield there. So I was really happy with the way that my press uh, did it, pressing the CBDs. Uh, if you'd like to purchase one, please check out myrosinpress.com. Be sure to use the code ROUGHHOUSE for that exclusive discount. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to press CBD oils with a rosin press. If you did, please hit the like button and visit roughhousestudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thanks for watching.